How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is my regular Sunday blog. You know, everybody is talking now about the election. Who's going to win? Who's not going to win? And every day you read a different prognostication from all the so-called experts around the round tables of America. Everybody with their head in their hands trying to explain to you how they have no doubt that this one is definitely going to win. And they're always wrong every time because they're always telling you what the polls show on that particular day. And then when they see the poll of that day, they predict the future on the basis of what they see in the poll now. Now let me ask you a question. For this you need a genius prognosticator. How often have you seen a prognosticator show the poll in one direction, like, like Hillary is going to win, and then tell you, no, Obama is going to win because I don't believe the poll now is going to hold up later. They never tell you that. They only know what the poll shows now. And then they predict the future about the poll that's the, that they see today. Now, if all I'm doing is reflecting what I see in the paper right now as a number. Why am I an expert? Any schmuck in the world could tell you that the guy looks like a winner from the fact that he's a winner now. If that makes you an expert, then, then you should quit, because any putz in the world could call it an exploit. My butcher could be the same exploit that you was. So could my plumber, so could the guy on the corner sweeping up, and so could the dense team in Philadelphia, and so could a, fit a, a, a maniac in Brooklyn. Anybody could, <laughs> could be called an expert if all they do is read what they see in the polls. An expert is a guy who doesn't know or care what's in the polls right now. He knows and senses trends about who looks like he's becoming more popular, who's, who's savvy, who's, who has more uh, gift intellectually, who is sharper, smarter, cleverer, who is going to outfox and outsmart all these opponents, and what do they see in his talent, in his brain, in his mind, that's going to somehow top everybody no matter what position he's in now. And that guy is an expert who could sense who is that guy who's going to stand out from the pack because of a certain special talent and capacity that the other ones don't have. But you know what's wrong with the experts? They're too stupid to see it that way. Do you remember when Obama was catching up to Clinton and then he was ahead of her in the polls by a point or two about a month and a half ago? And everybody in every round table said the same thing. Oh, there's no question about it. Obama's going to win. I can see it. He's catching up to her so fast and he's only going to move further ahead and there's no problem whatsoever. Clinton has finished. There's no doubt about it. I can see it. I can hear it. I see it. It's all over the place. What happened a month later? A month later, Clinton all of a sudden became 20 points ahead of him. You know what they say now? That's what I always said. <laughs> There's no question about it that Clinton is going to win. But you said Obama was ahead. When he was ahead, you said he was going to win. No, that's not my fault. That's her fault. She was running wrong in the campaign. Now she got the campaign right. It's not I was wrong. It's that she was wrong. And you couldn't tell from the, how brilliant she was from how stupid she was at that time. So all of a sudden, they're not responsible for anything they say because whatever it goes wrong, it's never their fault. Something happened beyond anybody's control and they, they became mindless for reasons you can't explain. You know why? Because they're phonies and they're full of crap. A good prognosticator doesn't tell you a different story every 10 minutes. Remember when Giuliani was ahead by 20 points? Everybody said, Giuliani can't lose. He's so sharp. He's so smart about anti-terrorism. But how about the fact that there's abortion issue? Yeah, the abortion issue is being wiped out now, little by little. And nobody's going to care about the abortion issue and you could see it dying right now. First they said the abortion issue will ruin them. Then they went back and said the abortion issue will make him. And then they said the abortion issue doesn't matter at all and he's going to overcome everything and he's become president because there's nobody who could compete with him. Now, what do you think happened? Thompson, Freddie Thompson went ahead of him in two out of three points, in two out of three polls, and all of a sudden Giuliani looked shaky. And the very same geniuses who already were definite that Giuliani is the winner, an hour later, eh, Giuliani, we always knew he doesn't know exactly what he's doing. He thought terrorism was an issue, but it's not an issue. It's not going to overcome the abortion. And you can see that the Republicans want somebody who's far more broad-minded and more conservative and more aware of the whole party policy and position. And he doesn't encompass it. He doesn't enhance it. He diffuses it. He come, he, 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 the man is not he can't, he's caving in. He's got no chance. You know why they say it? Because they're all collectively stupid. They only know the poll they read. I know what's going to happen. That's my field. And I'm telling you, Freddie Thompson, Freddie Thompson is going to be the next president of the United States. And when I say it, I know I'm right and there's no problem. Because he's ahead now. You know why? Because he'll always be ahead. And that's final. Except for the fact that something could go wrong. Maybe Giuliani will catch up. On the other hand, Clinton could go down. Obama could go up. Each one could be compared with each other. And they could all cave in completely. And Thompson could cave in altogether because nobody knows what he's saying. And maybe he doesn't know what he's talking about. And it could be he sounds bright because he never went into the campaign yet. And once he cut campaigning, he'll cave in. And that's possible. And you know something? It's all possible. That's why I say 
一件得。